Welcome to the final days. Today is March 10th, 2020. Today we will be seeing exactly what the sky lenses do that were shown in the March 4th video a few days ago. We will also see rotating celestial objects of different sizes and colors. The images in this video came from the Alaskan and Canadian FAA weather cameras over the past several days, except the older one playing right now, which shows the sky lens really well. These images are unedited except where obvious contrast is used to help see better. The purpose of this channel is to show viewers that we are living in the very last days according to the Holy Bible and how to prepare yourself and your family for what lies ahead. The video that's playing now is some older footage that was captured by the South Facing Weather Camera in Talkeetna, Alaska. These are a little more difficult to see nowadays because of the heavy saturation of atmospheric chemicals. We know this cannot be a lens flare of the sun because it is becoming partially illuminated by the light source, which cannot happen to a lens flare. Also, the contrasted image reveals the telltale edge rim that all sky lenses have, plus some very strange markings that look somewhat manufactured. Look closely at these really interesting markings. These numerous sky lenses are a small part of the trillions of dollars that have been spent to hide the inbound planetary system that is now within our own solar system, causing an increase in earthquakes, volcanic activity, and the heating up of Earth's core. In mid-May of this year, Earth will pass close by an extremely powerful magnetic celestial object featured in the March 4th video a few days ago. Earth will experience an increase in earthquakes, volcanic activity, and heating up of the molten core as we pass close by this magnetic anomaly on our journey around the sun. How much of an increase isn't known. But Mike from around the world, who appears from time to time on the Paul Begley channel, says that mid-May will be a violent time for this Earth, with likely widespread power failures. Months ago, Homeland Security warned every citizen to have at least a six-month supply of food and water on hand. This is one way that you and your family can prepare for what's coming. This footage demonstrates one of the major functions of these sky lenses. This video was captured yesterday from the southeast facing camera in Chicamas Canyon, British Columbia in Canada. When the light source in the sky reaches a specific height, the sky lens creates a circle of blur. Any objects near the red path are blurred from view, which will become apparent as we move through this footage. This area of blur is not in the camera lens or in the camera housing, but instead the blurred area moves with the sun's seasonal positions. This was proven in the October 29, 2019 previous video, where this blurred area was matched up with footage months apart. It moves. This blurred area always falls underneath the second rising object to the right of the sun. And then as we move through the footage, you can see where one of the two rising objects actually fades and is blurred by the lens. It's blurred from view completely. The north facing camera in this same cluster of cameras shows the cloudless sky getting brighter in the morning when all of the sudden just before 9 o'clock a.m. local time the sky suddenly goes dark for hours.
The south-facing camera at Cooper Landing, Alaska, shows a celestial object well hidden by the atmospheric chemicals. The equipment at the center of the light source, which shows up here as a black dot, emits a black beam in preparation for the eclipse with a hidden celestial object that is very faded by the atmospheric chemicals. We cannot see the craft in this footage, but we do see its pink reflection come in from the right side of the screen, along with reflections of other equipment used to conceal the total eclipse. The manufactured light passes in front of the celestial object, while the real sun passes behind, concealing the eclipse from public view. Then. Toward the end of this footage, we see the celestial object that just eclipsed the sun. Contrast reveals a very red, fast rotating object. We know this cannot be a lens flare of the sun because of its fast rotation and also because of its highly textured surface, which allows us to view its rotation easily. The video from the south-facing camera in Nick, Alaska begins with the craft that is always present whenever there are celestial objects or sky lenses to hide. The black dot in the center of the manufactured light emits a black beam in preparation for an eclipse with a hidden celestial object. The pink reflection of the craft swings into view from the right. In this footage, the celestial object remains successfully hidden from view. The south-facing camera in Ninana, Alaska shows the same thing. Once again, we see the craft that is always present during either an eclipse or a near eclipse. The black dot in the center of the manufactured light emits a black beam in preparation for an eclipse with a hidden celestial object. The pink reflection of the craft swings into view from the right. Once again, the celestial object remains successfully hidden from view. Oh, before I forget, this channel is being shadow banned. Please click on the thumbs up to help offset the shadow ban so that this information becomes available to everyone who needs to see it. Thanks for doing that. The south-facing camera in Seward, Alaska begins with a red, crater-pocked, fast-rotating celestial object crossing the sky in the same direction as the sun. The close-up allows us to see the sheer enormity of this object, which is far bigger to the eye than our sun or moon. It is slower than the manufactured light source, so a black beam is emitted in preparation for a total eclipse with this object. Some contrast reveals the object that is going to eclipse the sun. Once again, we see the pink reflection of the craft that is always present during an eclipse. However, in this footage, we don't see the actual craft like we did in the first one. Contrast reveals the object being hidden. As always, if we draw a line from the pink reflection of the craft to the black dot center of the manufactured light, the celestial object being hidden always falls upon that line without exception. And in the last couple frames, the celestial object is completely covered up with clouds further proving that it cannot be a lens flare. Lens flares can never go behind clouds or other structures in a picture or video. The east-facing camera in Iliamna, Alaska captured a very large celestial object that is well hidden by the atmospheric chemicals. Probably because it is more distant than some of the other objects we've been seeing. Notice that it is so faint that equipment isn't even required to hide it. There are no pink reflections here. The object does move, so we know it's not a sky lens. However, we cannot prove that it isn't a lens flare. 
It's too faint to see any craters or texture or rotation. We need to be spiritually prepared for what lies ahead so that we know for absolute certainty where we will go when we leave this world. All of us will leave this world at some point in time. The good news about all this is that Jesus has promised to remove his faithful followers from earth before God's wrath occurs. This is commonly called the rapture, which will take place quickly and quietly. The New King James Version of Luke chapter 21 verse 36 reads, Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass. Jesus is referring to God's wrath. He is saying that those who are counted worthy will escape all of God's wrath. Faithful believers are not appointed to God's wrath. To be counted worthy, we must be living in holiness. A link in the description box below discusses what holiness is and how to achieve it. Always remember that you are an eternal soul that has been sent into this world into a temporary flesh body. The reason you are here is to choose to love Jesus Christ out of your own free will and live according to that love. This is the only reason you are here. No matter how bad your past is, no matter what you've done, Jesus loves you and is waiting for you to accept him into your life. Forgiveness, salvation, and eternal life in heaven are offered to everyone, regardless of who you are or what your past is. These next few screens will tell you how to accept Christ into your life. Simply pause the screens if you need more time to read the text.